Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Welcome back to Lady Nights of Adventure. When Yay! last we gamed, you guys were escaping from the uh, fire um, room, learning the lesson that fire destroys everything inevitably, and that apparently you discovered the secret of if you talk really good to people, you can get through so much shit without getting burned. Well, plus six persuasion has to come in. <laughs> yes, that Yay! is a thing. That is a big thing. <laughs> and, and we discovered that Worgen get heat exhaustion pretty quick. Yes. So since we're all from Arizona, we know you don't let your dogs walk when it's over 100 degrees outside because they get heat exhaustion and burn their paws. My toes. I know. <laughs> poor folks. Poor Morgan. Okay, so uh, when you guys managed to get the scroll case, which, uh, who's got the custody of the scroll case, by the way? Our bipolar. No, I, was our the, no I, have the, I have the bag of gems. <laughs> and I have the case with the thing. Mm-hmm. Where'd it go? With the magic scroll and oh. the instructions? No. <laughs> Did you leave the case? That could be no, right. no, no. I no. didn't leave the case. Because we're like, we're going there. So who would like to say they have it? Morgan. Who's good with the arcana stuff? And oh, the me. Stuff. That was the point. We yeah, gave it to, we gave it to the arcana person. Oh, okay. She's the divine person. Yeah. I have two arcana, though. <laughs> yeah, and I have, like, one. You do? Yeah, I'm negative one. plus one. Oh, she was oh, the... I have three arcana. Oh, no, then we give it to like, How can you have negative one? It's an intel no, case, and you're an intel caster. I said I have two. I have the We gave it to her then. I'm a zero person. We gave like it the, to you. Oh, uh, okay. The, the, so the, the halfling who's been looking at the scroll case as you guys were running out of there quickly because you realized the guy that they jumped and beat the crap out of had the magic chalice, which is now in the paladin's custody. Oh, we that was keeping them. this purplish flame going that was keeping actually portals from hell closed. Yeah. So only little bits of hellfire was sneaking in the floor, making it all flamey, burny, burny, burny. The chalice of the palace of the furthest. And uh, when they, they pretty much simultaneously jumped his ass all at once, he died, spell got stopped getting cast, and they grabbed everything and yeah, ran because the portals were slowly opening and flaming little tiny things were coming that out. Happened. And then we left the flaming skull. Yeah, we left it. And he's like, yeah. there. whoa. And then he's like, eye beams of death to these guys. <laughs> then he realized, guys. what? Demons from hell are immune to fire, what? And he had to change tactics, and he's like, run, my friends. Actually, he's too busy talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a really great distraction. It I was. did offer to let that guy go home for his family. Hey, we you did. <laughs> you did the right thing. Because <laughs> right I'm awful good, and I said, hey, get out of here. <laughs> Don't make me have to kill you. And he just kept pushing it. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> and, and then Golden Guy volunteered. <laughs> There we go. And, and then bad and things You know, my happen. reaction to things. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so the next off the <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So the the power of that heat kills you. So the next time the power off is you, though, but you can't refuse to take it. Okay, so you guys ran up to there, and someone did the magic circle to, to get you guys out of there. I remember we did that. We dropped the crystal in, and we ran out of time at the door, and, we go, and Arlene came in the room. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you guys teleport back into the, the familiar room of four elements. Longer. Huh? Oblivious. <laughs> Sitting inside the cauldron of flaming stuff, and it looks like he may have killed one or two things that, that came back out of the cauldron. <laughs> because there's like poof flame explosion <laughs> cinders <laughs> everywhere, and he's like, oh yeah, it's nice here. Put me in the fire, blow up in my face, see if I get it. I'm really <laughs> He's not on a charred leg. Do you have do you have cherry stone? Very sturdy. <laughs> so you guys port back in, you feel that uh, you're all due for rest. Yes. Yeah. You're you're oddly starting to feel safe in this very confined space that you know you all are badass and the warrior is exhausted, panting like crazy. Everyone has some singe marks on them of some kind or another. And the halfling is reading the directions, going, hmm, so if we pass, if we pass, underlined, 
the, the test of fire that fire consumes all things, and that's why it's the first type of spells a magic user should use, blah, 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 because, you know, incinerating everything works, works. We need to learn that uh, earth is the next place we have to go to because fire begets earth. This fire magma thing. There's, there's a whole chart that's there. Right. It makes perfect sense if you read it and probably have enough bottles of wine to go with it. More so. Yada yada terms of service. <laughs> <laughs> Just accept it and move on. Yep. <laughs> I just treat it right. like another apple. But but you do notice that, that on the directions it does say one thing that you need to learn with earth is earth is a really finicky thing because it is strong and enduring. But one of the lessons that earth will teach is that uh, brains over bronze because you can hit a, a rock all day long and not get anywhere, but if you pour water into a crack in a rock, it will freeze and break, break the rock for you with no life whatsoever. Freeze it, right? That fucker's so smart. <laughs> so, uh, you, you, so you do know that when you get to the earth room, it's going to be a brains over bronze kind of thing? That's smart. I have wisdom. I, I don't have, have any intelligence. <laughs> I have a 12. I have a plus one intelligence. I did a ten. Boom. I have... <laughs> Wisdom was my best stat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have wisdom because I figured Magic Castle, I might need that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, strength was my dumb stat. No. So, but I didn't like huh? really intelligence. <laughs> well, <it's> intelligence, strength. <laughs> <laughs> intelligence and dexterity were my. Eh, that'll be fine. <laughs> It'll work out in the end, right? I've got everything into charisma. <laughs> So, so you guys are definitely going to take a long rest here, right? Yes. 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 Okay. We're gonna, we want to get I'll everything a song back. of rest. Remind so. Morius that I have my potato masher at home. Morius is her. not interested in getting too close to masher of potatoes. How many spell no. slots do we get back for rest? Okay, so That's if you rest, you get all. everything back. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I'm assuming you guys are planning to take a long rest. Is yes. there going to be any type of watch rotation? Yes. Yes. I'll take first watch because that way I can do the song of rest. Modius will stay um, on watch for And uh, so uh, 1d6. Modius is always watching the hammer. Uh -huh. So <laughs> why are we going to 1d6? Song of rest. Oh. Okay. Apparently y'all get one point hit, back, hit point back if you're not already. Yeah. I might right. fall forward. Okay. okay. Cool. So who's taking the second watch? I'll take second watch. Okay. Don't take the third sleep. watch. Okay. We don't have to sleep. We're half elves. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you think you can play with the moon? Is this the moment? The moon is like this. He says, shake his tail. Yes, the scorpion tail rattles. <laughs> Okay, so whereabouts in the uh, room there are you resting? Center in the room. You want to sit in the magic circle? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not in the magic circle. You, know, <laughs> you don't have a person. But, uh, we we got, need minis uh, on the board. We, we got that one going for a Nike. And we need... No. Uh, no? She's the stuff She's guy. The I don't care. Thank you. I'm like, I don't care what I am. I just know I'm not in the middle of that circle. Oh. Her no, in particularly, is the no. I'm not in the middle of the danger zone. No, I'm off. Danger zone. I have my back to the wall. You all can just enjoy it. Where is Modius tell us first? Amodius is going to be with his guardian protector here. Modius knows to get put the, the uh, cleric between him and the potato masher. Yes. So do you, so we each take a corner? We can do that. Do what you want, I'm gonna get in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a corner. I think that there he is a water. small. Yeah, no, he's looking for it. He is looking for it. I don't know which one's water, because he only marked fire and earth. Blue. Blue. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, wind. <laughs> So apparently air is both. Yeah, well, one is water, it's one the air. one by... Uh, I'm going to assume two is gold, earth. Uh, by Jocelyn is the water. Okay. That's water. The one right before earth. I mean, fire. Because I couldn't find my brown uh, marker. So it was... Uh, Start squiggly squiggly oh, there you go. Squiggly, <laughs> squiggly. I feel like you can grab my face. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you? I don't yeah. know what you're doing with this. Unwholesome <laughs> things are happening. Well, his hand is the size of the entire mousekin's head. <laughs> okay, that kind of face grabbing. That is. Here we go. That looks desperately used for the moment. Apparently, your goblins have turned it into a small. It's right. probably in the little bag. You want this corner? Unless you yeah. prefer a door. Would you prefer a shiny door? Uh, well, I'll oh, yeah. I've had good report of them in the past. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well for them. Well, hey, they got a bath yeah. and new clothes. Oh, that got one. I was thinking of the other got one. Yeah, that got one. You know, the one dead. that you danced. <laughs> <laughs> And I yes. gave a Columbia necktie too. <laughs> I was thinking of goblins from a previous campaign. Uh, uh, yes, yes. yes. Splug. Splug like lady. That is right. Splug yeah. was grateful for the opportunities I was providing. <laughs> and finding all these shiny coins under the carpets. No, no. Splug was like reluctant. It was uh -huh. the other one that okay. really, really liked it. Yeah, what's his name? Oh, oh my god. I can't remember. But yeah. I was thinking more. Grateful than yeah. grateful. Yes. The, 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 the other dwarf was like, all, or the other goblin was all That's for it. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I'm just kidding, right? Okay. Okay, we'll just all look at you as you go. <laughs> okay, so you guys are doing your rest, you're recovering, you're recruiting. Uh, you divine casters have done your meditation. My, you arcane casters my, uh, have done your clarity. You got your center, you got your spells ready. Nothing. Things are going good. So well, things are going more gooder. Oh God! I think he does that. Okay, like, no problem. I like the dress. Is the diet Dr Cute. Pepper ready? No. You'll just put it in there. <gasps> she forgot us. We're still going on Yale. Thank you, <laughs> Arlene. If you're listening to this, we're going on Yale. To say how we love you. Exactly. Yes. Sorry, but your name is Super Goddess Supreme. Yeah. Hello. We gotta, we gotta make our Facebook page with that name. We need to make her a badge or a shirt or something. <laughs> so you guys have you know, taken your rest, you've recouped your abilities, you've, you've, you've mended, the bard's been singing a sweet lullaby. Mm -hmm. Tuning my lute. Oh, do you sing with your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Case that you've been fiddling with looking at the directions and reading them and kind of fondling <laughs> your cleavage with them. Hey, if I roll after rubbing my dice on my cleavage, apparently I roll better. Okay, I can completely accept that. It's the new magic. See? 15. Okay. Plus, plus one, three. Right? Plus three. Oh, that's like 15. Nice. You notice after a while when you, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we need more room. Well, when, when you made your little resty space, you know, and you put the scroll case down, and there, were, there just happened to be a little bit of soot from the fire room on the, of the scroll, scroll case, and when you, you rolled it down and it kind of rolled across your stuff, it left little ash marks that look a lot like writing. Uh -huh. But it seems to be like only like a bit of the writing. Like someone just took a scroll that they wrote out and like chopped somewhere in the middle. Almost like when you take paper and put it in a shredder and get you the whole strip. Oh. So some of the There's just enough words you can tell it's, it's it's obviously some kind of sentence, but you're only getting like a word and a half of each line. Do you know what language it's in? It, it's actually in common. That's dandy. Um, it's a quite, quite commonly known language. Do I feel that it's... <laughs> Do I feel that um, if I sprinkle more of those ashes next to the previous ones, that it will like fill it out, or do I get the sense that I need to like search for the other half of this? You, you get the feeling you need to search for more. Okay. That there's just not enough full sentences because it's like literally the court, the second quarter of a conversation being written down. So now, did the, yeah. did, the ah. <laughs> did, did the the 
ashes fall on this scroll or on some? It's it just part of your clo you, you part of your bedroll that you set up for when you. Yeah. So now it's That's probably going to good. stay on my bedroll, right? Okay. So I want it was just a smudge. It's not really the whole thing. I mean, you can easily go over to a brazier and just keep rolling it over the brazier so it gets a nice good coat of soot, and then roll it out on something. Oh, so you can oh. reproduce it quite easily. Okay, that's what I was yeah, trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. If it was like magic, uh, magic particles of soot that I had to only use those and then bring back the magical particles of dirt from the earth one and the magical bit of water from the water one and a bottle of air from the air one and throw them all on the Holy same. Holy shit, that's good. Let's write that down. Or <laughs> 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 it was just like... Whatever shit that I rubbed the scroll in would like <laughs> transfer onto any other shit. That does. Yeah, you might need four magical. No, it's like like an old G.I. Joe episode. Quad? <laughs> the old, back in the day, G.I. Joe, and they'd go around the world with oh. the deepest, purest water and the hottest fire. Yes. And, like one season finale. It sounded like you said juju beads and suds. Not and exactly. I'm like, I was like, like what? Juju beads? What? Juju beads? No, juju beads and suds together. <laughs> that confused me. Yeah, I was like, uh, what? Well, first you get a girl named Juju Bee, and you have her make a car wash. <laughs> and then you give her Juju Beads and Suds. I got to the hospital. <laughs> so, all right. So good. I okay, so like, yeah, it looks like it's a mundane way of having a, a hidden scroll. But so we're you, talking, like, from National <laughs> Treasure, where you, like, put it on the pipe and you roll it out on the pa paper? Every yes. time. Okay. Every time. Just every time. You're that player. Okay. Every time. I'm just trying to envision what you're doing, okay? <laughs> you're spoiling the magic. You never bring up the source material. You're spoiling the magic. <laughs> well, fortunately, I don't know the source material, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's a movie. It's a movie? It's a movie. It's a sequel. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's the one with the... With the, the first one is The Da Vinci Code, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go touch the... Oh, yeah. there are two with... with uh, I'm going to go cage. Touch the, yeah. yeah. So are we still resting? This was during. Yeah, this is during your rest, where you're figuring it out. Okay. Good. Any other exciting things happen while I'm taking watch and hanging out? Did any of us get anything worthwhile, or could I dump the shit we were grabbing right now? With? Oh, oh yeah, you can just just just. It was basically okay. the the purse with the the jewels and. I grabbed there was the, the, the really cool robe that the guy was wearing. Didn't someone grab? I yeah, got we have the I robe. Got. We have the cup. We have the scroll mm -hmm. case, and we got seven gems. Yep. And that magic scroll. And the wand of magic. And the wand. Yeah. The wand of trap detection. Yes. And then had fire on everything. The like 96s or whatever it was. The, the layer of soot that you all had on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while uh, our dear cleric is finishing up her watch, and you're all getting some good sack time, recovering, all of a sudden, are you sure you don't want to sit in the middle of the magic circle? See, that's nice. I'm sure I don't. Y'all can say what you want. Okay. I'm sure it's seldom a good idea to fall asleep in the middle of a magical circle. Yeah, because what if somebody teleports in? Uh-huh. <laughs> Squid. <laughs> what are you doing? Surprise, there's a morgan. There's somebody activates it. Surprise, there's a morgan. Without each other. Right? What if we disappear into a different room? Oh, yeah. All of You're trapped in hell. All of a sudden, you guys are sitting there. You're just chilling. You're relaxing. And you're, your cleric, she's on guard. She's she's ready for anything. She's like, "Come on, guys." Nike says, "Let's just do it. Let's get to the Earth one. Let's get on our game." Yeah. You know, I'm kind of circling, looking at things, but I'm not touching anything. Yeah, especially when Moldius says, "No, you are too soon for this." I'm not touching nothing, buddy. Yes, good idea. Moldius thinks you are most. And just then Modi does this little double take of the magic circle. And you guys, what? You guys see, feel a warm glow come from the, the runes on the floor. They start lighting up. And all of a sudden, magical glow happens. And, and I roll a duplicate. And all of a sudden, as you guys are just chilling, you're just chilling and chillaxing. All of a sudden, on the magic circle, three people instantly teleport in. And the gentleman with the walking stick is, is basically conversing with the two people next to him, saying, they've got to be around here somewhere. The circles are failing. And he immediately looks around the room and sees oh. all four of you spread out in it. 
five. Well, I think the word is hiding one of the, <laughs> one of the people. Yes, he's so hiding. Come on. He's on her face. The word has this cute little. <laughs> the word has this cute little white spot on his chest and fur. <laughs> You know, that's not a hard shape patch of fur. It's my sugar your roll initiative. <laughs> and yes, we should roll initiative. Ooh, oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the bar <laughs> goes. Yeah. Six. Uh, not necessarily. I've got a three. What do you ask? I was oh, my damn. damn! Your initiative. Yeah. Which should be your dex modifier. Which is Zero. minus one. Minus one. Eighteen. Do you have a text modifier for it? No. No, so straight 20. In fact, what is that? Like you said, just do it. Shut down. It's a good thing I got that 20 then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to get one when I'm fighting or anything. That'd be weird. And what did I do a war game? 10? Plus your deck. So, uh, 10. 10. I don't know. And Miss Duskwile. Uh, in mine is uh, 16. Yeah, you just want to put your dex and modifier so, in there, and then you roll as each one you add to it. So. And what did your oh, one become yeah. after your dex modifier? Yeah, it was, it was a like three. Oh, uh, it just a three. Like, you know, I know y'all jealous. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, 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 you can remove it. Yes, I'm slow. <laughs> and I will roll the big black dice of doom. Ah, that was actually pretty scary and intimidating. And, just, and loud. I know. And doom. That was not that. The room echoed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bum, bum, bum. Golda, what did you get? Zero? Zero. Okay. Uh, Somebody else rolled 20? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Someone did with their modifier, so I just want to make sure. Well, she I rolled it without first. the modifier. Okay. Because that's a natural yeah. 20. I no, like it's a natural 20. 18 does not mean 20. <laughs> Like the dead gentleman where it goes around the corner of the arrow, you know, he rolls a natural 20 and the arrow just follows the guy until it goes around corners. Knocks on the door. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so he looks around and says, where are they at? And basically his conversation is interrupted by seeing all of you guys evilly spread out to the four corners of the room. <laughs> so... Dear Clerk of Nike, who's all at the ready, who's all prepared, who's just ready to do it, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to try and spring on that guy and get him in, like, basically a submission hold and try to pull him grab back. Grapple, you grapple him? Okay, so go ahead and move on in there for the grapple. I love some WWE. This guy? I... Nope. The one with the, the walking the stick. <laughs> so he's actually a halfling, by the way. Okay. So okay. You... I should, right? If he's a little earthen. Well, in this case, no. Actually, I will give you advantage because you're, he's ambled, surprised you're jumping as hell. into that. <laughs> he's yeah. like, hey, I'm looking for was, them to get the We are going to find them. Where did they go? Oh, I found them. So what, what did the other two look like? Uh, they look very young. One's a half elf, the female one, and the male is a human. They, they don't seem to be wearing anything fancy. They just seem to be wearing legs. regular clothes. Or maybe they were stuck here like us, and they're, like, you know, trying to get out. Or they're acolytes. Or they're acolytes. <laughs> like, like, I'm her acolyte? Advantage, so you get two dice. Yep, oh, so I you have get two You're all go for a grapple here. Oh, boy. Ten. Good thing you had advantage. Yeah. Oh, man. It's almost like Is casters. grapple strength modifier or a... Twelve. Twelve, yep. <laughs> so you go, and do you have athletics? Yes. Because that's that's what you'd want to use. It should be better. Four. Okay. Oh so fourteen. So 14. <laughs> no. Actually, yes, because he's got a negative. Oops. Ooh. Strength is his dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> so you come up and you put the guy in a, a submission hole. Yeah, I don't want to like knock him out. I don't. Wanna, I just want him to be between me and his. People, so if they're going to attack me, they're going to attack him first. Okay, would you, would you like to move yourself, or you would like to pull him one square? Pull him one square. He's small. <laughs> Remember, he's a half. Uh -huh. He can share her square. <laughs> well, he's no, in she front wants, of me. She wants to use him as a human shield. As yeah, a halfling uh, shield. He's in front of me. He's her halfling shield. The other way that he's like. Well, she's worried about not getting shot. Yeah. 
I'm, I don't want his people to be like, this and way, I shall go and attack her. This way from her head to her knees is covered. <laughs> <laughs> he does count his bunch of covered. And I say, looking for us? No, <laughs> or like something stupid like, found her! <laughs> and I called in my team to announce that we have company. Okay, yeah. Mm. Ah, uh, that's a sticky widget. Immediately, these two look at him and look at you, and they kind of look around, and, and they're reading in action, but it's not like they're actively doing it, but they are doing hand gestures. Just like, I'm getting ready. I'm waiting. I don't know what to do because you know, I'm following orders here, and nobody said anything yet, except he's squealing and kicking his feet out. So his uh, turn is it? And by the way, Modius is on your shoulder. So, they're holding their action. So that would mean it is our Paladin's turn. Cool. What's the bunny going to do? March? We're going to persuade them to tell me what's going on. <laughs> to, the, to the hostage or to the two that are sitting there trying not to do a team rocket pose? Uh, I'm going to do the two lackeys. Okay, which one are you going to go for? Do you think the gal is more easily intimidated? Probably the human. The human? Okay, so, so what kind of hey, persuasion you I saw there? the secret life of pets. Man, bunnies can be psycho. <laughs> I'm gonna say, hey, I watership down. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> about rabbits. So much rape and. Your and persuasion is going. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm gonna your say, nose. Bunny, tell us what's going on. Natural 20. Plus oh my god. Why do I tell you their life history? <laughs> Plus six. <laughs> so, 26 there. Immediately, you know, so, so, so how do you phrase this? How, how does your persuasion to, to, to give them the, to give you the skinny, which they're definitely going to give you in spades. And then, then on my next turn, I'm going to tell you the rest about my life story. And that's how I managed to get to come here. Say, Has anybody ever told you you're super cute? Oh, oh my god, you get the bunny. I'm not funny. It reminds me of when I was little and I was practicing magic in the backyard and they exploded, but I still love them. Yes. <laughs> oh, buddy. No, I'm gonna. Because I can't be meaner than that's intimidation. Uh oh. Right? Okay. This is persuasion. You're doing your charisma thing. Charisma like, bunny. Did you two come in to help? <laughs> okay. So immediately, uh, and, and are you one? prisoners too? <laughs> and, and, and which one specifically are you aiming for here? The human. The, hu the, the human guy. Yeah. He immediately kind of straightens up and says, "We are not prisoners here. We came to the master's castle to be taught the ways of the Arcana, to become the most, some of the most prestigious and powerful magic users of all the lands." Oh, I'm gonna ask if they learned Modius's lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when you mentioned Modius. His eyes immediately flash to her shoulder, and, and just, uh, blood kind of drains out of his face. And and the master introduced us to Modius a few times, and once is more than enough for any one student. Oh. But we are here to take you back to your cells, for we have been told. Modius, Modius is like snuggled up against my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lessons. We, we, we've been sent to follow the teacher there to, to capture you all and bring you back to the, your cells. The new master will find something to do with you. <laughs> Who's the, uh, the new master? Have you seen him? I, I, and he gets kind of, even the girl gets kind of like weak in the knees. And we need, none, none of us except the higher teachers have seen the new master. We've not heard good things. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's me. No, it's not. Ah. <laughs> um. We need you to come along with us without a fight. We wouldn't want to damage you. Oh. oh. Uh, well, I'm going to show them the stuff that we have. We would want to damage you, and I'm like, good joke. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it, her. Kill it, her. <laughs> <laughs> their, their mentor's feet are kicking at your knees. <laughs> Cells. We promise you won't get hurt. 
promise you won't hurt us. <laughs> As you're, you're seeing a little bit of piddle come down his leg. Ew! What? I'm what? going to uh, do show the, the cook from the bathroom <laughs> and uh, ask if they want to come with us instead. <laughs> well, unfortunately for them, they don't really react to the cup. But the halfling being strangled, his eyes kind of go a little more bulgy. <laughs> and a little focus on the cup. Uh, and, and you're hearing some gurgled noises of surprise can we, nature. Can we ask him if he wants to come with us? <laughs> <laughs> you can, but he may not reply too uh, windfully. Do I roll for persuasion? Do you want to come with us? <laughs> that is an 18. An 18. <laughs> we just sit there and like, well, well she's doing this I and like, too. And I'm like going, like, like, oh, you funny, you are so awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was a, it's like, you know, your your wife is just the coolest. It's like, and I'm like, you know, good job, Claire, you rock. Just keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> As the bard is throwing inspiration around. But you know, oh, it's not her turn yet. This last well, thing she got order. Twice. Well, we're gonna be jumping to some other people real quick. Okay, sorry. And I'm like, no. no. Okay, so. Uh, I'm just like, you guys are awesome. Dusk Wild, <laughs> it is your turn while she's throwing the bunny charm around. Her bunny tail's twitching and her nose is twitching and whiskers are being cute. And I never the only thing cuter you. would be if she had a Cadbury egg. Oh, with great. Wow. And with that, I refill the scroll into the cakes, I, hoping that everyone watching it pull it back up, rub it against my cheek, <laughs> stick it some mysterious place about my person. <laughs> I like how she kept going lower and lower. <laughs> and um, I will eyeball these two <laughs> students in the middle of the circle. I kind of want this to be a win so bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, to your own teammate. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I rolled the dice. <laughs> well, roll it for real. So we're just getting rid of the curse that was just laid up on you. Roll for real. We have you guys. The wand's only got three charges a day. <laughs> you guys are like unlimited. I was going to tie them up. And, like, and, and wow. believe it or not, with your scroll, which is familiar to them, because the chalice, unfortunately, they have not taken the test of fire yet. Yeah. But the scroll looks very familiar to some similar scrolls that the higher teachers use. And the mere fact that uh, you're you guys casually are, secreting it about your person. <laughs> And you know that you're all dusky and Blood. crazy and <laughs> femme fatale. They will basically drop their arms slack at their sides of like, okay, please don't kill us. We'll go through this whole dungeon without killing one person. <laughs> <laughs> we killed some people. You killed yeah. lots of people. We never leveled up because we wouldn't kill. Uh, but we still get experience. We leveled up. We're, We're just too. defeating them in a different manner. <laughs> Um, Accidentally exploding them. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop your weapon and give me your word of honor that you will do everything I say, I will not turn you over to the new master. Oh, that's good. As, as they proceed to do the uh, semi-committed, I surrender hands up. Or not, not the all the way up, but just the okay, hands off. You don't want me to give you to Meldrix, do you? And they yes. kind of give the imp a look immediately on the cleric's shoulder. <laughs> Meldrix, you're hungry, aren't you? Yes! Most mm -hmm. hungry. And you're looking for some shiny things. Ooh, yeah! Do you, do you shiny eyes! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we might 
might need their eyes. No. It might need to see things to help us. No. Do you think not? Because I'd hate to get into a pickle and need their eyes. Maybe. Look, look for coins and little shiny hard things that they might <laughs> Strength or dex, whichever's higher for you. Strength or dex? Strength, strength. or dex. Okay. Or athletics if you got it. Athletics or acrobatics. I had a feeling you're going to mop the floor with me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a three. I got a seven. <laughs> On the dice. <laughs> On the dice. Thirteen. <laughs> he starts to wiggle and she puts him in check. Just immediately in check. It's almost like, like, wait a minute, I did my math wrong. It's still a bigger number than yours. It's still a bigger <laughs> number. Yes. He's got a negative, you've got a plus. Yes. Okay, so for his turn, he's kind of squiggle, squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> his feet are <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he starts to wiggle and I just lean back his a little bit. His yeah. little cane shillelagh clinks on the floor because he's lost his like, grip of it. <laughs> oh, that was an effective turn for him. So the bard is going to give inspiration out to everyone. Yep. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. So uh, we're back to the top of the order. The students are definitely. What would, you, what would you like to do? <laughs> I guess where you, you, you're 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 She's you're, a twin. you're you're right before the bard. <laughs> yes. We're <laughs> <We're up. up. laughs> already did. We're we're already did. did. I wrote two sixes on the chart here. <laughs> um. So by. Since she told him to go in the corner, I uh -huh. will block them into the corner. Oh, she's going to get all your puff puff and get in front of them? Do what she says. Okay, so go ahead and move her in front of them. Ooh, that's not intimidating I'll have at all. my glaive pointed out. <laughs> a giant glaive by a giant organ. You're a thin nature. Well, you can get adjacent if you want. Or you can get all crazy and just weave. You can reach them. I'll shank you with my ten foot pole. <laughs> Oh boy, can't we? <laughs> I'm not gonna teleport out from right where I'm at, right? Now. Maybe. Let's <laughs> not put me yeah. in a circle. The fighter is, is nervous about magic circles and things. <laughs> it's a wonder. That's why the fighter brings her magic bunny with her. Yeah, you got your jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Drop everything you got. They already did. They're already down in their panties. Yeah, they're 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 in their 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 undergarments. <laughs> I figured we could, like, you know, so I can start them on, I can light them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to. Hey, no, think about it. It's like, yeah, we passed the fire test. Biatches. We should, like, sort through their clothes and see <laughs> if there are gems or anything we want. Don't need to roll for intimidation? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> after that natural 20, they are scared shitless of all, all right. of you. And the fact that yeah. Modius is purring and huddling up against one of you guys. <laughs> And they've seen Modius run into new students. They've had Modius take some of their class out in one shot. I'm just smiling at him in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you make sure only the bunny talks to us? The bunny was much nicer. Okay, so Golda, what are you going to do with the little guy that you're just, you know, got? Spell his breath. <laughs> you only have one spell I want to hear. The girl. <laughs> We want to hear the spell of Red Ray. Make like, it rain. So the bunny's bipolar too. Clearly. Are you? Yes, she's not good. All good. She she persuaded she them. Good this whole game. <laughs> she, 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 good. she persuaded them to talk. Oh she's You're trying to talk to them. She did the talky talky. And then the very scary ghost walker 
halfway went all <laughs> crazy. Sith Lord, I'll never. I am the town, Mr. Bond. I expect <laughs> you to die. Oh, well, she's wearing the Cthulhu fez. Yes, channeling her. She's channeling the Cthulhu fez, yes, channeling the Cthulhu fez mm-hmm. for President Wawa Fest Khan. Yes. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Modius, who is this? Hmm, he is widget teacher at school. Widget? Widget. Is like widget his name, or is it widget his subject? <laughs> it is his name. <laughs> ah, subject. Okay. Says, you see, what subject is it? What What does he uh, teach his students? What's his specialty? He teaches new students. His specialty is teleportation. Ah. So don't let him talk. Well, he's happy well, to be in the You do know, gym. yeah, for, for most of course, there's things like expeditious retreat. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's barely able to get a breath of air, much less wiggle his fingers and a, speak. become a chatty box here. He's in the same space as yep. he does in the uh-huh. yep. So, um, do we need him? <laughs> no! <laughs> And so I, I glance at, at you guys. The evil? You're asking somebody who's evil. <laughs> he's like, he feels like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Magic is no good or evil. How do you use it? I'll take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral. I've slit people's throats before. <laughs> I'm lawful neutral. Like, if, if, there's you gotta do it. if there's something that needs to be done, I'm going to take care of it because I need to protect my team. It's it. part of what I do. Break his neck. Yeah. Good gesture I, to the character sheet. Like yeah, that. I think yeah. that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. But I didn't Can need he be useful to us? But organ bowl. Organ bowl. You just made a sexual innuendo about it. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's because she's a yeah. rabbit. She's always in the mood. Yeah. That's one of my flaws. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I um, I like to see that. I'm character. absolutely character willing trait. to kill this character if that's what's needed to protect the team. But I'd rather your character stay with the group. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I look at you guys. Do we need him? Mm. It's like ah, Modius. <laughs> Modius, do we need him? You have all that you need to learn the lessons. Would he be helpful? More trouble than help. Kill him. You're a cold, cold bunch of ladies. <laughs> uh, excuse me. He literally is trying to put his back in the cells. I am not going back to that little room with no hairbrush. <laughs> no. Especially since there's orc piss and goblin blood everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> Can he do magic if he doesn't talk? Uh, yeah, some magic is just for him. Since it's your turn, go ahead and give me our cannon roll. For the majority, yes. I wouldn't waste your inspiration. No. Yeah, don't waste your inspiration. <laughs> Six. <laughs> He's totally magical. You're like, flat him down. He's cool. But you, as a vague reference to Arcana, you usually stuff either vocal, wiggling in the fingers, or you know some kind of oh. thing. Which is why usually you put mittens and a, and a hood and a gag over it. Well, I'm see. thinking we could like, leave him alive and just cut his tongue out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's damn. so much nicer. You are so not lawful, guy. <laughs> we can I'm just sorry. take his tongue and a couple I fingers and he's no threat to anyone. Uh, well, leaving him alive is good. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she, we're, we definitely character alignment slips. <laughs> Slowly, no, she's like dropping me. an alignment. Oh, Slowly, a blush. <laughs> So, uh, just go out. Right. In the meantime, 
So they're talking about killing him. Yes. Well, I'm asking, I like clearly asked the team. Well, what I, should haven't, do. I haven't replied, but yeah. I am chaotic good, actually. <laughs> and I try really hard to actually be good. So um, it's a I will grab a some piece of small clothes from the student's pile and I'll wad it up. I'll shove it in his mouth. Look him in the eyes and say, I'm going to tie your hands. We're going to bash you on the head. We're going to leave you here tied up. Because that is the kindest fate I can leave for you. But if you're... Well, I <laughs> He's gagged completely now with yeah. some yeah. random clothes. And she also said she was going to lock his hands together. Yeah, behind his back. Yeah. Well, so, so that required her to drop. All right, no. He's going to choke her. Won't to have her drop on his back. Oh. Kind of. Knock him on the head. Just knock him yeah, on the head. Try to get, I will let you try to knock him in the head. Especially since you've been choking him out this whole time. His Just eyes are fluttering. Just tighten a little. Let's make this like one athletics roll, and he's out cold. Okay. Okay, and uh, meanwhile, a certain someone is going through his pockets oh, yeah. and pulls out a per little coin purse with five gems. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And Modius is interested in the purse because it's got a little, the, the, you know, the little ties? At the ends of the ties are symbols. Oh. Symbols of? They seem to be some kind of magical symbol. On your turn, you can gladly roll an arcana. Can I give Modius a gem to seen over there? He'll gladly take a gem if you're offering. I will. Okay. He, he will gladly, as you, are you like throwing it to him, handing it to him? Because you're handing it to him, he's going to be very shy and rude. I'll set it on the ground for him. <laughs> so and you put it down it the ground and you gesture it towards him? I'll kick it over. Okay. Him. So, well, that's going on. The little guy is trying to struggle for it. Disadvantage right now. So give me an athletics or an acrobatics roll for choking him out. Oh my god, he should roll easily. Except for that six over there. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> Can I hold that? So that five. Well, you were oh, okay. going through his pockets. That does not tell You me just that. dropped a natural 20. Yes, I did. <laughs> Do a good thing. You're not part of it. You. you, you the opposite. <laughs> The Jeez. opposite. What would Winnie the Pooh do? <laughs> That's about the level you're at right now. <laughs> you're a his <laughs> All of a sudden, she uses smite, and <laughs> all servers are busy. He would Please save his later. <laughs> so you're 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 wrestling him in faith. You're not even gonna have to do your next attack. This struggle makes his eyes flutter back, and he just goes limp in your hand. Okay. Not dying, but he's yeah. out cold. He's out cold. You, you, you successfully choked his ass out. He's limping your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Lady Nights of Adventure. That's right. So I um, lay him down on the ground. Okay. And then I look over, like look around the war again at, at his two disciples and say, and then I, and I, like, I motion very broadly to him and say, this could also be your fate. They're not happy. Definitely not happy. That's the point. I don't make any moves to them. I just motion. This is what we did to your teacher in under 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Less than 12 seconds. Taken down. Cowed in the corner. Yes. Yeah. Meanwhile, the bunny's in that corner over there looking all cute and adorable. Trying to begin. <laughs> Your ally. <laughs> what wouldn't Cthulhu do? Just ask yourself, what wouldn't Cthulhu do? Okay. So that was his turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's now our Worgen's turn. 
He's got them all under citizen's arrest. So <laughs> they're in there, there Tony's hiding in the corner. What's that? Do they need their own spies? You feel that they are suspicious of the cows, by the way. They're, they will cooperate completely. I thought we could tie them up. Do you like them together? <laughs> <laughs> we like it. We're getting into that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can do that. But they would protect them from themselves and from bad life choices. Probably. Oh. So we like you too, kiddos. Can you tie their hands together? Okay. So, so you put your forearm down and you start lashing one of them together. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, Songsmith, what are you doing? <laughs> Press the digi patient. What, yeah, what, is, what is the goal you're going to do with that? <laughs> the guy passed out on the ground. <laughs> I'm going to soil his britches. <laughs> She's like, good thing I put him down. Sings a little ditty and uh, uh, there he has ones or twosies. Twosies, he already did onesies. So all of a sudden you just hear a fart sound and a stench come rolling up from the half leg. Yeah, one cubic foot. <laughs> Adorable. I think, are you sure he's not dead? I've heard about people getting hung before.
But it does make a reference to the earth does conceal the nature. Okay. Good thing you've got that wand. Oh, yeah. Does the earth explode? <laughs> earth and fire sounds like a good. That would be earth, the earth and fire room. Modi's mm. never told me about the bag. About the what? The bag. Oh, you put the whole bag down? He gladly waited for you to go and uh, he snatches the gem and he basically says that purse was given to this teacher by the master. The old the master, master or the master? master? The master. Apparently he's the old one. Yeah. She is the new master. master. Oh. But not the master. No. What are these symbols about? <laughs> They are the initials of the master. Okay, what are do they? We, yeah. Do we know his name? No, Morius does not know the master's name. His name is the master. Is this a T and an N? Like, <laughs> what are they? It's basically magical archaic symbols. Yeah. So this is calling God. <laughs> He's like Prince. Does I think <laughs> anyone in the group speak primordial? No. Does That's anyone speak abysmal? The Sylvan in common. Didn't you have an extra language? I have language an extra language, language that I haven't filled. Primordial. Learning with primordial? Okay. And I'm learning, like, I'm filling in the blanks the more I talk with Mortis. Okay. Basically, one of the little doodads, the <laughs> symbol, it's a primordial symbol for creation. The other oh. one is in a different language. Almost like it's in a distant language. Write it in the primordial language, write it in the upper demon language. Is there a Oh, it's basically just purse, it? but it because does look like it's made of some kind of this. skin of something. Oh, good. Ew. Hey, that's great. Probably not mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chances are. It's an oh. over screwed. Ew. So does this... Oh. This one... Mm -hmm. see, correct me if I'm wrong. This sigil means creation, right? Morius does not know. The fact but he knows the symbols represent the mass. And of course, you know, uh, Mordius wishes you safety in your journey. And he's going to flutter up, you know, there's convenient little holes in the world. And he turns into a rat and scurries the little hole with the little shiny stone. Mm -hmm. And he's going to deposit the shiny stone at the bank. He needs a certain number of stones to be able to escape himself. The bank of Mordius. It's under a bed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are we friends now? <laughs> Are we what? As an imp goes, he was being friendly when he stabbed you with the stinger. You asked a, a question, he's answering it. And he's giving you one lesson free. Trust no one. <laughs> After all, each of you may betray so. everybody else. Sure, she's a good paladin, the god of harvest and life. Has <laughs> <laughs> the hands are shaking? No. Nope. <laughs> Taken the test of the four elements yet. Oh, good. Would you like to pass Earth? You, you, you have to be a third year student before you're even allowed to take the test you're to promoted. take the test for the four elements. Oh, come on. We got. We how, took care of fire. How, come on. How, how did you even get to this can, room? Can I tell them that? Because we are that good. <laughs> they can join my group of students. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a field trip. <laughs> because they're kind of weary of when their teacher wakes up what he's going to do to them. So uh, he, he will. they will definitely go with you. I can persuade them as much as I want because I did a 20 on them, right? Yes, you, you, you persuade all day long. Okay, so you're going to do the earth thing where you go out there and you yeah. grab a handful of the earth that's there and the crystal and the thing and the thingy thing. 
some, some of these got an easier can of roll because now that you got the scroll case of directions, you have advantage. Not me. You How about advantage. you, Deskwild? You get to roll oh. twice. You get the better of two rolls. We're doing our can. Deskwild. Okay. Yeah. We have yeah. advantage, Deskwild. You get the best yeah, of advantage. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you get to roll again. No, no, no. You have no. advantage. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Because you have the directions. I was thinking I had this so go ahead and roll oh. again. Um, so. I'll take her. Fifteen. We'll, we'll double. Okay. Well, she'll assist. Okay. <laughs> you do the thing. So all of you, including the two students, are cramming together. It's going to be very crowded in that room. We're in here. Uh huh. I know it's in the the little green circle. In here. Yeah, you're all cramming we, into that little. So we all have to go in at the exact same time. No, you I, don't. You can use more than one stone. Yeah, you can burn some more no, stones. No, no, no. We're gonna. <laughs> well, if he's in, I'm small. <laughs> How can you, can most you of us put can my take, in there too. Yeah, we can oh. take up the same space with other people. I'll hold it <laughs> by the back of the neck. It's wow, like that's a lot of people. Water. It's literally like shoulder to shoulder. As Keep in mind that one of those figs is extremely delicate. Yes, and her arms might blow off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly the one that's precariously perched that is yet to explode. <laughs> that one might. As it explodes and blows us all up. Or it's okay. like an elevator at Phoenix Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a Phoenix Comic Con elevator experience. Yeah. In the West Building. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys hit it and all of a sudden you feel, it feels like, instead of the other one where you like felt fire and you like went off in a poop of flash, this one you feel like you're flowing into the ground itself. Like you're going in an elevator down, down, down. You, just, down, you almost down, feel like you down. see rocks and dirt move. You don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> to which, you guys appear right there. In the little one. Far away from the spaces. <laughs> And by the way, that chip is not a chip. But clearly ahead of you guys, as you pop in, you are in this dank earth. And I mean, it smells like soil and mulch. And you, s you see there's a glow in your r the runes that are basically giving you a nice dim glow that you see deep, deep roots of trees tangling about 10 feet ahead of you. You are in the, the earth. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like it was carved out by anything. It just looks like magically something scooped earth out and made this opening. Mm -hmm. And up ahead of you in the distance, you see a dough, which is basically an earth gem. For the record, from the distance here, you're sensing tons of power from this earth gem. She's dis distinctly female and has a giant hammer resting across where her legs would be if she was a normal creature. And she's kind of like floating there, kind of meditating. Is it giant? Giant hammer. And you guys smell this. There's, a, there's like a general dank stench of earth, but you know, when you inhale, you know how when you smell earth and it's all yeah. loamy and sweet and nice, all of a sudden you pull it in and there's something that smells like just a stench undertone to it. Probably because of the rotting bodies under the dirt that are waiting to like attack, attack us. us. It, my it, divine sense it could, it, your divine sense? You are sensing supernatural evil off her. Mm. Okay, and spell the word of what she is. She's a doe, D A O. D A O. D A O. She's the, this is the name for the female urchin. Right. I just yeah. wanted to write it down yeah. so I would know. The if you'd like to talk to her, I can give you her view. I would. Okay. And uh, everybody, give me a perception roll at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, that would have been a good roll for advantage. Look how nice yeah. that pretty One splitter two. dice roll. I know. Uh, Seven. <laughs> And what are we doing? Perception? Yeah. Perception. Seven. Eleven. Eleven? And that would be a ten. eleven. Okay, you guys sense... I have a ten. Ten? Nope. You guys sense that it's completely safe to pop oh, actually, I'm sorry, it's twelve. We did not roll well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a twelve. Okay, still, you sense that it's completely safe to walk ahead. And the students are just having this whole nerdgasm. They want to walk with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a true journal right now. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's part. a dark whisper in your ears. Just saying, going to swap labels. <laughs> or at least, you know, just, uh, Feel free to go look at the God section in the back. <laughs> I can't do it, I'm trying. <laughs> Feel free, or my th 
thumb is is where the gods start. If you no, can find something no, evil. The warlock is the good one. <laughs> the one who sold herself to a demon. No, no, she sold it to a fae. Oh, to a fae. It's not yeah. that bad. They're just mysterious. Yeah, except for I'm listening to uh, Cold Days. It's like, um. Try some files. Are you doing uh, Summer Court or what? <laughs> well, it's well, over on the Green Lord, so. Oh, okay. So Wild Fae. So it's really chaotic. <laughs> yes. I. That's it right. depends on which side of the bed I get out of today. And if someone put snakes in my bed or not. And let's go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> someone put bunnies under my bed. I have oh. new slippers. <laughs> my god was fertility. Yeah. Because I'm a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> And you've taken it sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Oh, God, yeah. Who too exhausted to be good? You would take effort, though. No. <laughs> okay, so as you guys get there, go ahead and just for giggles, let's everybody roll initiative just because. Just because. Just because. You're about to die. And. Those are about to die. We salute, we salute you. Fifteen. Oh, that's seventeen. Twelve. Huh. That'll work. Six. Oh, seven. Oh no. Fifteen. Can you listen to your stuff? And you had a fifteen. Okay, so. Oh, what's the name of your girl? Yandala. 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 What would Yandala do? What would Yandala do? She'd tell the halflings to go forth and multiply and plant some, plant some oats. Well, just make an, a sign for her WWYD. <laughs> Yandala destruction? What? Okay. Hey, you know? Did you find a bad god? <laughs> That's what you're trying to be. <laughs> She was just having a bad paladin day. All this divine smite's not good. Maybe your god will say, no divine smite for you. You're too violent. Okay, so. Nature is both violent and nurturing. So he's evil. Our little paladin, <laughs> our, our little uh, rabbitkin paladin. March, what are you going to do? Walk my 25 feet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead and. Are you sure you're gonna go out to here? I hate when he says it like that. <laughs> well, look, okay. no, they're well according, to what we, according to what we rolled, it's fine. It's, it's perfectly it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there like lots of shadowies? In the, well, I oh yeah, everything is super dim. I have no. There are shadows so I'm everywhere. I'm not gonna try to sneak around. <laughs> <laughs> there are like little little the grounds all pushed and mushed. And it looks like a giant rabbit worm almost. Oh, okay. You feel really comfortable, except for somebody, you know, obviously. Can she, can she see me? She can clearly see you. <laughs> we, 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 we all popped in, she went, sup. <laughs> <laughs> can I be like, hi there? I see all seven of you, hey. <laughs> can I uh, persuade her to tell me how we get out of here? Uh, you, you, can, you can just start a conversation with her. Okay. Okay, go ahead and roll the persuasion. What, what, go ahead and tell me, girl. <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> it fell down the rabbit hole. <laughs> that is 16. Yay. 16. So, so how is it that you initiate your conversation with this giant meditating woman? Who I'm going to say, I'm sorry to disturb <laughs> you, but I brought my group of students with me. <laughs> and, we're, <laughs> and we're trying. And she's like <laughs> trying to shove me out in front. She kind of eyes lazily open up. 
Cheers in the back. <laughs> First. She, she reaches to her lap and grabs the hammer in a backhanded, you know, like yeah, this. Yeah, I'm going to grab my hammer and, too. Well, she's grabbing it oh, upside okay. down mm-hmm. in the backhanded swing, and she places it down the ground pretty pretty quickly. And all of a sudden, in front of her, a, a looks like almost a chessboard comes up out of the ground. Hey, that's my game, isn't it? Or is that my... Well, it looks kind of like a chessboard, but you notice as it comes oozing out of the earth, it's got little I play chess. stones that are like, they almost look like cards in different positions across this floor. Keep you go. <laughs> Rack of stones that look like little cards, not stratego. <laughs> it looks almost like... I have proficiencies in games because I'm a noble. Ah. It looks almost uh, like Dungeon Forge pieces, but the wall. You may begin the challenge, but only one may take this challenge. I actually have proficiency in game. game. Mm. I'm a noble. Hit it, girly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My is Your, a cheated game, so it's better. Whoever than is me. taking <laughs> the trial may step forth and take three turns at my game. Let's pitch up some proficiency. You do games. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so as uh, that was your turn, Bard, it is your turn. <laughs> You can do it! <laughs> refreshing. Okay. They're refreshing the inspiration. Uh huh. Okay, are you staying back there where you are? Are you coming? Forward? You betcha! <laughs> I am My thing is very delicate. I'm staying I back here. <laughs> and I am going to use, uh, let's see here. I'm going to use, uh, um, Press uh, digitation and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Um, I'm going to make uh, like sparkles. Sparkles. So she's sparkles. Well, she's evil though. I don't know. No, round two. Yeah, yeah, she's I making know. you more impressive with your oh. yeah, sparkles. Yeah, I'm trying to make you look. She's throwing craft herpes at you from across <laughs> the room. <laughs> we actually had to stop using glitter at Living Social because it melted our. Because it's inside. We would computer bomb, and after like 20 of them, they make glitter. Because yeah. it sucks right in and it waters stuff. It's it aluminum foil. Mm-hmm. Gilda, it is your turn. Um, I separate myself from the crowd, but only slightly. Okay. Where would you like to go? Um, this way. That way, it's gonna go this way. Straight in. Yep. Um, and up one. Oh, one more. There you go. Well, Keep no, you're in the middle. Corner. There you go. So I'm close enough to her, but okay. not um, at all inviting this character to believe that I'm in- interested in her game. <laughs> okay. I'm not interested in this game. That's not where my proficiencies lie. Okay. My proficiencies <laughs> lie in cracking this dude's head. Like, that's what I can do. Okay, so the next turn belongs to somebody else. I have the kid brother back in my Okay. <laughs> this, yeah. Come here, puppies. Yes, good lesson for you. Come and get back at home. <laughs> so, all of a sudden, March, to yes. both sides of you, you notice a hint of motion and like a weird moving thing that feels a lot like in the movie Predator when their stealth is oh. moving. And it's coming from hello, both hello, sides. Hello, hello, hello. But that's a good place to stop it there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. And then she made the dude poop himself, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I looked at it. I guess that's how we're rolling tonight. Yes. I didn't know that was something to do with that. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening.
Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Gems. Who's got the purse with the three gems in it, by the way? Um, I think we have the scroll case. Oh, that no, I have the, the scroll case. We give it to somebody who could use it. I just wash. I, uh, I just wipe something off about gems on my shoes. Mm-hmm. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have a bag with five gems. I have the keys. Anything? I wrote down bag with five know. gems. You have no. I just one. said odds I'll keep it even on the feet. I have five gems. Trying to short me too, there, Mister. I got it written down. Well, it's gonna cost you one of those five shiny stones to get out of here. I know. We just and the scroll case has two more gems <coughs> in it, so there's a total. Of I have the cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The which I don't think it was anything magic cup. <laughs> it was a magic cup that it's was keeping be- hell at bay, magic and you managed water. to run really fast. Oh, it's a nice, pretty jewel goblet. I mean, you can always use that. It's a water bowl. If you find some beer or you're cold and want to sort of fire it, it's, it doubles as a nice little brazier. My dog does. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Might be small for you. One, one lick, you're done. <laughs> you're like, seriously, seriously? So is everybody ready? Ready, yes. Are you sure? She has to roll for her one, or pick it from a chart or something. Magic wand you got? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's we right. ran out of time for that, didn't we? Yeah. I, yeah. I got Good catch. Wand. I did not remember that. So am I rolling a d20? Uh, yes. Let's let me find the place. I feel that's right. We didn't finish rolling for that. <laughs> She's getting that good. Uh, Even if it's in that one. <laughs> I got a seven. Seven? Can you glue my arms on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a little random. <laughs> I still have faith in my one little hand. The little cloaky so I don't know so. She's like, we gotta be here to open the box since it's been here for what, eight days. Well, it's like it's not Yeah, so I just passed it to me. That's correct. Not even like a discount on a replacement one. Which is why, because of those two incidents, he it was in. Like he, yeah, it was in there. Completely into each. We bubble wrapped it and everything. Yeah, I know. So as a the word of warning to our listeners, if you use is this hero forge? Hero yes. forge. Yep. Keep in mind, 10-day return policy, and shit breaks pretty mm-hmm. easy. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's just pretty printed. You can yeah. be able to see that it's, yeah. you know, back and forth. It even has some little mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. on the so bottom. So what I'm hearing but is... But fortunately, mine is still really good, I think. What I'm hearing is we need to take it to your local university that has a 3D scanner and scan it and try to reproduce it. Or to it. your local <laughs> hackerspace like Zero Craft. Zero Craft. <laughs> and they're like, hey... Whole steampunk group come over and craft with us sometime. And I think you were at the table when they were telling us. Yeah, to come yeah. Over. I, I was actually <laughs> taking video of what you guys standing in front of them while they're doing their thing. Yeah, while they're poking things. So it yeah. is my wand. So your wand is a wand of secrets. Your wand has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges. And if a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points at the one nearest to you. And of course it regains 1d3 charges at, at dawn. Okay, so it just keeps 
they can be recharged. They I don't have to yeah. necessarily. Yeah, it recharges every morning. And it's this cool little brass wand. Looks like a little, little thing there. It's got the little symbol for secrets on it. And it's, it's 1d6? Uh, 1d3. Charges. But remember, that's only a if there's a secret door or a trap. But our cannon checks could go, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they didn't go. That, and it's nice to know of, hey, we're in a dead-end room. We can't figure it out. Sonic Screwdriver. I mean, run the secrets. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> and all of a sudden, when you're in the hallway of death, and it's just trying to point to the nearest wand, and they're all oh, those legs. Well, there you go. Or if there's a magic sigil on the wall, and you're like, should we look at it? Bleak! Don't touch them both. Don't read that one. Never touch the magic sigil. Yep. Unless you, you know, want to do the magic thing. Sometimes that's fun. I almost wiped the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It'll be fun. <laughs> Things. This isn't your planet, loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
Yeah. Unless you're playing Although, D&D, they touch what I did everything. find interesting was, was that Mars is a matriarchal society. Yeah. Well, well most Native American yeah. couples. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, this is... This is what I say, and that's why they were all wiped out. <sighs> And then I get killed. And These are funny. my last words in my book. Yeah, I think the whole table. <laughs> like, yes. all, Everybody all in the group stares at yeah. Ice Cube was all, in it. All of a sudden, he spontaneously he started coughing in the 20s. I don't know how he choked to He death. plays this rebel leader. <laughs> oh. That was funny. He, he, he had fun with that role. And so first, when they first get possessed, they start they have, like, scarifying themselves. themselves. Scarifying and, and all, you know. Like, facial piercings. Yeah, yeah. exactly, and turn really, really, really violent and... <laughs> they get so crazy. Yeah. So crazy. You mosh them crazy. Yeah. Well, that's possession for you. Yeah. And then there's Uber trains. Because that's an easy set to make. Yeah, the youngest character was in it. Yeah. Hmm. He died. <laughs> <laughs> and then he died. And then he died. <laughs> so we ready? Yeah. We're ready. Okay, welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Nope, actually, completely, no, utterly, like, totally wrong. wrong. Again. Again. I've been I here oh, for every night we've played. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he, he did once. He got it right once. Yeah, once. <laughs> Just that once. And they never let me forget. <laughs> you don't give us an opportunity to, because you say it wrong every time. time. <laughs> welcome back to Lady Nights of Adventure.